Thank you, Senator Looney. Congratulations to you and to Senator Duff. Senator Wickos and I and my caucus look forward to working with you as the years go on uh, in this session. I want to thank my family and my supporters of my district. Look, all of us in this circle know you would not be sitting in that seat if you didn't have support from your family and your friends and your district, but mostly your family and friends to pull you over that finish line. I'm going to ask all of us in the circle to stand and acknowledge your family and friends that have placed you in the seat. Please acknowledge them. I want to congratulate all the new senators and welcome to our family. We call it the circle, but it is a family. And unlike the House where they sit, Republicans on one side, Democrats on the other, we sit by districts. And I think that is good for what the Senate has always stood for, camaraderie and the ability to talk issues out. That's what makes us strong. And to our veteran senators, welcome back. We refined our relationship over the years and we will go forward. I also want to take this time to recognize Kevin Wickos, who is my partner in the leadership of the Senate. And thank you, Kevin, for taking that position and for the work that you've done over the years. Thank you so much. As Senator Looney said, last year we were at 1818 historic vote in 2016, and this chamber accomplished so much. We had two bipartisan budgets back to back. That's historic. That has never happened in the Capitol. Two bipartisan budgets back to back. We controlled borrowing and spending. We reduced taxes on the elderly, on Social Security and pension. We codified the Affordable Care Act. We did equal pay. We passed numerous bills in cooperation with each other that have set a good course for the state of Connecticut. Now, the numbers may be a little bit different than they were two years ago, but the will of this chamber to get things done still exists. The common bound of making Connecticut strong will certainly hold us together and outweigh any policy differences that may try to tear us apart. Because in this room, we have talent, we have friendships, we have dedication, we have people who care. And that's the mixture you need to bring about a strong resolve and a continued pathway that will make Connecticut as strong as it could possibly be. So in the program, it says, Senator Looney speaks, brief remarks by the majority leader, and even briefer by the minority leader. So I will conclude and say that it is a privilege and an honor to be a leader in this circle, but more importantly, it is a privilege and an honor to be in this circle. If you listen to what everybody has to say, you will change as a person if you allow the voices to ring true to yourself. Thank you, and God bless this chamber.